Hello friends, today is uh, May 9, 2016 and I find myself in Upper Manhattan in a neighborhood called Morningside Heights. 110th Street is the immediate location where I find myself and as I was walking down by this area I encountered a photographic exhibit on the side or one of the sides that connect to the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. I'm going to turn the camera so that we can take a look at this exhibit. It's just a series of photographs that are organized and styled on this wall, uh, about a dozen of them, I don't know exactly how many, but I'm going to walk along them and see what this exhibition is all about. These are the photographs of a photographer named Matt Black, and it's called The Geography of Poverty. Some very interesting images uh, and the little description that they have over here reads All across the United States families are struggling to put food on the table. High poverty rates are crippling the country's most vulnerable communities, the conditions and phases of which largely go unseen. Matt Black has spent decades photographing in his native rural California and in southern Mexico where the people working the land and picking its harvest are the very people that go hungry. This past summer, Black embarked on a trip to explore modern poverty across America. He traveled continuously on a route visiting 70 towns and cities where at least 20% of the population is living below the poverty level. These poverty areas exist in the backyards of blooming, of booming oil the refineries, stretch across the post-industrial Rust Belt and persist in the upper reaches where lumber mills have fallen quiet. Through Black's photographs, we see not only what America looks like to the 45 million people living in poverty, but also that poverty is inextricable from issues of migration, land use, industry, and the environment. Here, the Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine stands in Morningside Heights. 17.30% of the population lives below the poverty level. Just blocks away, in, neighbor, in neighboring South and Central Harlem, the population living below the poverty level increases to 28.02%. Directly across Central Park on the Upper East Side, a mere 6.73% of the population lives below the poverty level. As stones throw away in East Harlem, that statistic jumps to 34.6%. Um, so here on this display you can see different uh, images of spoons, most of them are plastic and on different states of breakage and decomposition as well. Let's walk down and take a look at some of the images that are on display. Uh, they are in black and white, sort of with a greenish tint that I can pick up. This image depicts a scene in El Paso, Texas. El Paso is a city in El Paso County, Texas, the population is 649,121 and 21.5% live below the poverty level. Notice the image of the man over here leaning on this pole. We're moving down here, we can pick up another image. This is in Fresno, California population of 494,665 and 24.8% live below the poverty level. This is Tulare, California. Tulare is a city in Tulare County, California. The population is 59,278 and 21.4% live below the poverty level. California is also being affected by serious drought uh, these last couple of years and that will for sure affect many of the people who live there and especially those who live in the more impoverished communities. This is another city in California where in this particular city firepower a population of 7,549 and a staggering 34.9% live below the poverty level. Skulls like these are usually reminders of death. Bakersfield in California, population 347,483, 19.3% live below the poverty level. 
So I'm walking down. Uh, these cities, again, they have uh, over 20% of the population living below the poverty level. This is, this is a city called uh, Modesto, California. 20% of the population there lives below the poverty level. This quote over here is hard out there, man. We're all fighting for all the wrong things right now. This is Flint, Michigan. Oh, and this was also the city that was uh, that had the severe water problem, the severe uh, water contamination issues. Over there, a city of uh, 102,434, 41.5% lives below the poverty level. This is a photo of a city here in, uh, in the East Coast. This is in Pennsylvania, York, Pennsylvania. Population 43,718, 37.1% lives below the poverty level. Cosmer, South Dakota. Population is 208 individuals and 28.2% lives below the poverty level. Mendota, California, population 11,045%, lives below the poverty level. Another quote, this one is from someone in Santa Maria, California. I had no shoes when I worked in the fields. I used to sleep by a tree. I barely made money for food. It's just incredible. The United States is the richest country that we have on the face of this planet. And yet we have, in some cases, cities where close to half of the population is living below the poverty line. Aupa, California, population 1,026, 55.4% lives below the poverty level. This is Corcoran, California, population 24,813, 28% of the population lives below the poverty level. This image caught my attention the most. It's the last if you're walking in the east direction from where the exhibition begins. And it's uh, an image that was taken in Allensworth, California. Uh, this city has a population of 471 individuals and 54% lives below the poverty level. Now, what uh, is the average income uh, in these cities? This is something that uh, we would have to research. I know that here in New York, if you make less than $25,000 a year, that is considered to be living below the poverty line. In the statistics that they represent over here, for example, East Harlem, up where you have close to 34.6% of the population who is living below the poverty level. And poverty level in New York is less than $25,000 a year. And this is very low. I mean, estimates uh, go that if you, uh, to live in the city and be uh, well-employed, you need to be making over $25,000, but really to be living here comfortably and be able to pay uh, market rate rent for your apartment, you need to be making almost six figures earning from uh, 75000 to $120,000 a year. So if you find yourself in New York, if you live in New York, uh, take a look at this exhibit. Uh, this is made possible by the Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine, located on 113th Street and Amsterdam Avenue. Alright, that's gonna be it for today's short video vlog. Thank you for your attention. For more videos, always log on to 5bguide.com. If you have a Facebook account, like the Facebook page for automatic updates on videos and historical uh, events that happen in New York on the day that they happen. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning, depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Bye.